and welcome back to You Rejoin at 120. I am Jeff Clint. This is a series of 120 videos of things that I think that you should know. And today we're going to be uh, talking about something that's very simple. So this is actually going to be probably one of the shortest uh, videos of this whole series. Uh, and it's just kind of a step in the direction of English. So I was forced to take two English classes as part of my degree. I did, in fact, pass both of them by some uh, act of server, uh, or possibly um, the uh, fact that I was dating an English major at the time helped quite considerably, but uh, the, uh, there, there's a big kind of encouragement, especially for international students, uh, to learn English as part of your degree in the University of Virginia, and that you're kind of expected to be able to converse fluently uh, enough uh, in the English language if you get a computer science degree from our university. And uh, I would like to suggest that that is actually kind of not all that important, uh, and especially on the level of uh, perhaps grammar and spelling uh, and the written word. Because even if you're not able to uh, communicate um, perhaps in a concise way, uh, in a clear way. Uh, I, I, I know one person with dyslexia. He's one of the smartest people I know, but he just murders every word that he tries to spell. Uh, but even in that case, you know, people complain about his, his spelling, and it's unfortunate that they do so, because he always gets his me message across. If you're paying attention, it's just hard to read a little bit. Uh, but even so, don't worry about the spelling. You know, don't worry about the, the, the grammar, the paragraph structure, all of that stuff. You know, if you want to worry about it, fine. Uh, I, I don't think there should be nearly as much uh, focus at the university level on our ability to communicate uh, using this particular language. Uh, but, and here's the big but, there are keywords that are necessary to understanding the field of computer science and or any other field. Uh, those keywords are limited in number. We could probably make a list of them and put it on GitHub. Uh, but whatever those keywords are, and whatever your field is, learn those keywords. Learn what a list is. Learn a bubble sort. Learn big O notation. Learn the syntax for your specific field, and learn it well. Memorize every single one of those words and how it is spelled. Uh, don't screw up the basics of your field. Screw off the basic English, fine, go hard, but when you deal with computer science, learn how to spell the related terms in computer science. Maybe we need someone to set up that GitHub, or that list on GitHub, of what a computer science major should know as far as just words, just grammar, and how to use those specific words. It won't be the entire English language, that is completely unnecessary, but there are certainly certain things that you will be uh, viewed as not um, competent if you are not able to spell, if you're not able to understand the relationship of those particular symbols, etc., uh, to the grit, kind of broader scope of language. Uh, and this generalizes. It isn't just a computer science thing. Uh, there are other fields worth studying and putting 120 credit hours worth of effort into, and in those fields, each of those has a group of keywords that you really, really should learn those words. Uh, focus and put some effort and energy into memorizing those words. Use the, the, the tactics and the ideas of the rest of this video series uh, in order to get your brain to do it, but at the same time, do it. Uh, don't worry about the rest of the language. Just jump through those hoops, get, get those credit hours as, as much as they ask you to, but really focus on learning the keywords in your field. And so if you have any questions about this, I don't see how you would, but uh, if you do, feel free to post them anywhere where this video is posted. And uh, if you're interested in funding the creation of such a list, uh, there will be a Bitcoin donation at the bottom here. Uh, maybe send me a message or something and some Bitcoin, and maybe I could start helping you towards that end. I will see you in the next video.